Annyeonghaseyo everybody. Today we're going to talk about APIs. Uh, this video is one of the first videos of the series called Newbie Questions. Let's get started. What is an API? Why so many people talk about APIs? Why are they so important? Why does everybody have an API? Why there is a Facebook API, Instagram API? An API is just basically like this keyword like right here. With this keyword, we interact with the computer. When I press a button here, a beautiful button that I can press, I press this button, something happens inside of this, something happens inside of my computer, and that shows me the text on the screen, all right? I'm interacting with the computer through the keyboard. That's how I am inputting information with the keys that they have provided. This is the only way I can interact with my computer. Now, an API is something like this. An API is how do programs interact with each other. An API is made for code to be able to interact with basically other code or other technology. An API is just basically this keyword that you make from your server and you give that keyword to the iOS application. Boom. With this key, you're going to log in. With this key, you're going to log out. With this key, you're going to upload a photo. With this key, you're going to follow somebody. And when the iOS or Android presses these keys, that is going to have an effect on the database back there on your servers far away. That is basically an API. Now, what is a REST API? What is a GraphQL API? What is a SOAP API? What is an XML API? These are just different shapes of keyboards, but they accomplish the same thing. They let programs communicate with each other. But this is not the only API that you can find. You can also find public APIs. There are weather, weather APIs, which is a server that has the weather of everywhere in the world. And when you press the button, get weather of Korea is going to show you that weather. Also, we have Instagram API. We have Facebook APIs. Those are just keyboards that your program can use to interact with those applications, with those servers. Now, APIs are designed by the people that have the server and that are making the API. So for example, some APIs, they don't allow you to do everything. Sometimes the APIs come with limitations. Sometimes you have to pay for access to the keyword. Sometimes you can only send maybe 10 requests per second. There is another kind of API, which is, for example, the web API. Web APIs are APIs made for the browser, for Google Chrome, for Firefox, for all that. And those are the same thing. The, the Chrome team, the Firefox team, the Safari team, they all expose buttons for you to use. Every time there is a new button popping up and before the API was really, really small, like this is small, only this part was the API, but now it's been growing. So now we have buttons, for example, that if I press this button, I can request access to the user microphone. If I play, if I press this button, I can also request access to the user camera. If I press another button, I request access to the geolocation. So this, those are all just buttons that you press to have some result. You don't see the internals of that job. You don't see the internals of how Chrome is getting my location. You don't see the internals of how Firefox is getting my audio. You don't do any of that. They just give you a button and when you press it, many things happen under it, but that is not your problem. And that's why everybody loves an API. They have different purposes, but they do the same thing. They just expose buttons that then you can press with your code and that will, like, that will have some uh, result at the end. So do you need an API? You don't need an API? It all depends on your needs. Should you build an API out of nowhere? It depends on your needs. Should you learn how to make an API? Of course you should. You can learn that in our courses or everywhere in the world. Thank you for watching. I hope that you like this tiny, tiny explanation. Let me know what other newbie questions you have. I would love to answer them on the comments or on another video. And that's it. Again, thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget, as always, eat kimchi. Bye-bye.